Chargers, Bears. Coming up on EA Sports, we welcome you to Chicago, Illinois for today's game. The Bears are ready to run back this kick. Nick Novak ready to kick it away to start today's game. Matt Castle's a big, strong guy. You know, if you're not careful, he'll run the football, but also has a strong arm where he can throw the football down the field. Here we go now. First and ten. On the money. He's tackled right at the 48. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Tim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. You knew this was going to happen, and the coach disagrees with the call on the field. They'll take another look at this one, Phil. Did that ball hit the ground, or was it caught cleanly? When you look to see if this is a catch or not, did he trap the football? Does the ball hit the ground at the same time as it is hitting his hands? If it does, then that football will be ruled incomplete. You must get possession of the ball first, and then if it touches the ground, that is going to be okay. But if it hit the ground first, that will be an incomplete pass. So he challenged the play, and the coach's challenge does not pay off. Well, I, I agree with the head coach still. I would have made this challenge play, because it was so play, important play. to the outcome of the game, and it was a little bit of a gamble, but it was worth it. And the tackle was made at the 48-yard line. Number 16. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. Coming up, second down. Offense lines up here. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. They'll go ground. He stacked up at that point. Third and short, I don't know what you do anymore. I've given up. Do you throw it? Do you run it? Do you have that kind of faith in your offensive line? Well, the offense does. They run the football. Great job by the offensive lineman, giving that running back a chance to get that first down. Wide right. receivers are bunched up. Flip to the outside. Nice tackle. As we look at the defense, you've got to beware of Dwight Freeney in this one. Dwight Freeney, the thing that stands out about him, he has the greatest spin move in NFL history. I, I sit there and I just can't wait to see it every game. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head & Shoulders, the official shampoo of the NFL. The Bears offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. And now they'll try over again on second down. Offense lines up here. Here we go now. Come and on. the second quarter is underway with this snap. And that'll be a gain of about two. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field.
third down. The Bears are at the line of scrimmage with a spread go, formation. Go. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Underneath and incomplete that time. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal, because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. The Chargers ready to return the kick. First down, offense readying for the snap. Rivers set, empty backfield. Out of the gun. Pass Allen. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. And he's forced to the ground. After that sack, it's now second down and 17. Quarters formation here for the defense. Midway, second quarter. Rivers connects with Antonio Gates. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. The Chargers are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Matthews lined up in the backfield. Philip Rivers from the shotgun. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. The Bears sat at the line. Dime package. Rippers out of the gun. They're going to get him here for a sack. Quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving, you want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long, gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. Well, it's a game of chances in the NFL. It's third down. The defensive coordinator said, let's get after this quarterback. He sends the extra guys. He blitzes him, and they get there before the quarterback can react. That does it for the first half. Chargers trail in this one. We welcome you in now for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Bears are right in this game, though they haven't necessarily controlled the pace. The Chargers lead in time of possession but it hasn't helped them dominate this game to this point. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Bears taking control early in the first. Pass coverage will break down here, and he'll be tackled at their own 48-yard line. Now to early in the second. The quick pass and completion is made, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to their own 37-yard line. Chargers have it later on the drive. The connection will be made from the gun, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 17. So that'll do it for us. We'll send you back down to the field where Jim Nance and Phil Sams are on the call. Bears ready to kick the football. It's out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. They come to the line, and it's first down. <laughs> Phillip Rivers has it under center. They'll run it here, and Matthews is brought down. 
We see now just some of the many hits this quarterback has taken during a challenging day for him, Phil. Jim, it's very understandable why he is not playing well today. Think about it. When you have less time to make a decision on where to throw the football, you are not going to have a great day. Second down now. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Hand off. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. The Chargers offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Third down now. Offense lines up here. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. And he's going to be sacked. So just three plays and out for the offense. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. The Chargers are going to punt this one away. Set up return. Here he goes. Gets about nine on the play. They face first down. The Bears come out with a split backfield. Out of the shotgun. Looking across the middle, has his man. And he is tackled at the 44. And as the third quarter comes to a close, off Lake Michigan we will take a short break before beginning the fourth here in Chicago. There go now. The final quarter begins with this snap. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. That's a timeout call. Second and short following the run. Double tight end formation. To the ground. Wide to the left. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. Third down following the run. Takes his spot in the backfield. Right back to him one more time. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They bring in the extra tight end. Back to the ground. Off the right side. Keeps his legs moving. In on the stop. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. There we go now. Green 90. Green 90. First and goal from the seven. Back to the ground now on first down. Good piece of tackling. 
Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. That's second down coming up. Offense lines up here. Another handoff right back to him. And he's brought to the ground. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, the offense, they get in the huddle, they know. They all talk about it. If we score here, the game is over. The line of scrimmage, the two-yard line. The defense loading up on the line, getting takes it across, and he's in for the touchdown. What a job by the offense. So little time left. The drive down the field and score, that just ices the game. Nice job by the whole football team today, but especially on the offensive side. The Bears lined up now for the point after. He made it. The Chargers ready to return the kick. And that return ends rather quietly, short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. The Chargers have a player down here, so we're going to take a quick injury timeout. And welcome back. Daniel Bellini is working on getting us an update on the injury as we return to action. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down at the 16. Phillip Rivers unloading the long... And it's intercepted, which should all but wrap up this game. Much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline. Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. So I think it always gives you a better chance of winning the following week because you feel so good when you're out there in that practice field. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.